Are you impacting or are you retracting? I'm going to ask that one more time. Are you impacting or are you retracting? That's today's lesson. Welcome class. Welcome new subscribers, new viewers today. How are you? My name is Denzel. If you're here for the first time, welcome. Today's lesson is all about impacting and retracting Okay, in our personal finances. So, let's go over some terminology, all right? And this is for my middle school students as well. This is a small lesson on impacting and retracting. And also, we're going to dive into how we calculate uh, our chunk payments towards bad debt, okay? So, let's deal with the top portion here, which is impact, Really, to me, my definition is to make contact with something or someone to make change, influencing them, okay? Whereas retracting is the complete opposite, to pull back, to avoid contact, to avoid change on someone else's life or something or an object or an obstacle or a goal, to pull back. To avoid paying off all our debts because, you know, our mindset is telling us that, that that's not the right way, you know, or that that's not the right thing to do, okay? Whereas impacting, you are making a decision to make contact with that source, with that person, with that financial strategy. So let's go into how we calculate our chunk payments on unsecured lines of credit. In my other video, I went over how we calculate our chunks with a credit card. Now we're gonna go into unsecured lines of credit and some different ways that we can make chunk payments so that we are not risking borrowed money and not overpaying on interest costs. So. Let's assume that we make $2,500 a month. Our expenses are $2,000. Our cash flow is $500. And let's assume that we have a line of credit for five grand. Okay? And we've got a debt that we need to pay off. Okay, let's say it's like over 10 grand or something like that. Okay, let's say it's a car. It's like a, you owe like, 12 grand, 11 grand left on the car. Okay, cool. And you're making three, four hundred dollar payments on the car. Okay. If we have a line of credit, okay, and for this example, we're going to use the six month chunk method where we take our cash flow times it by 12 divided by two. Okay. So, Cash flow is 500 bucks times that by 12. That's six grand for the year. Okay, but if you divide that by two, every six months, you'll have three grand. Boom, that's our chunk, 3,000, which is half of our cash flow every six months. So if you did the math, you look at a calendar from January to January, okay, 12 months. Now, the first January, we make a $3,000 chunk payment towards the car note. Drastically lower the balance, right? You cut off interest, you satisfy that month's payment, correct? Yes, cool. Step two is you dump your income that you make throughout the same month, January, into the line of credit. Step three is you take that same money out, 2000 throughout the month to pay your bills. And step four is the cash flow or any extra cash flow stays in the credit card, okay? Stays in, I mean, in the line of credit, not the credit card, in the unsecured line of credit, okay? And it would take you just about six months or less, so conservative, six months to zero out the line of credit 
which gives you the ability to do what? Come July, six months later, July, we make another $3,000 chunk payment. So, so far, we're at $6,000 total, plus those three dollars $400 monthly payments on the car, right? Okay. Make the chunk payment. Step one, dump the income. Step two, take expenses out. Three, cash flow stays in. Six months go by. January, which is the 12th month, what do you do? You take another 3 k and you make a chunk payment on the car. And let's say that car was at like 12000 13000 or so. Within a year, a year, right, 12 months, that car will be paid off. And then all you got to do is zero out the line of credit. Now, if I paid off the car by month 12, what happens to my cash flow? It goes up whatever that monthly payment was, three, $400, right? That gets added to here, cash flow, which would speed up the debt payoff on the line of credit even faster, maybe like three months, four months. Make sense? So that's the six month chunk method. And the reason why that is so effective, why I've actually been doing that more than chunking by the year is think about if you made a $6,000 chunk, which you can't because you only have a $5,000 line of credit, right? Let's say you want to kind of like match it up. Like, oh, what would it look like if I took out the whole five, made a chunk, pay it back in like maybe eight months, nine months, and then, you know, make another chunk of five. You can certainly do that. That's cool. Now, the only disadvantage is that you are over leveraged on the line of credit, you could be potentially paying more in interest, okay, on the line of credit. Now, it doesn't really matter how much interest you pay on the line of credit because of the amount of interest savings on the car note itself plus the cash flow increase that we're gonna get. So it's, you know, it really doesn't matter unless, you know, the line of credit is like, I don't know, like 20% interest rate or you know, 15, like 19, 18, then, then we want to make sure that we're not taking out the whole amount because that would be, like I said, over leveraging, not really the best way. So I think one of the most effective ways is you take your cash flow for the year, divide it by two, that would be your chunk every six months, and it gives you a space. You have this $2,000 cushion, anything goes down. That's your emergency fund. That's your oh crap fund. That's your, you know, uh, something happens, you get hurt, or you get injured, job loss. You got that cushion right there. It's not a big cushion, but it's a cushion, right? And that is the six month chunk method. The one below here is another common one that I, I kind of like as well, is the two thirds method or 66% or of whatever the line of credit balance, the credit limit is. I kind of like this strategy for people with higher income and higher cash flow, like maybe 1,000, 1,500, 2,000 cash flow. This actually can work really good in their favor where they take two thirds of whatever the line of credit is, whether it's, you know, if it's 15,000, that's $9,900 chunk. If it's ten thousand, that's a six thousand six hundred dollar chunk. If it's twenty five thousand, that's like I don't know thirteen fourteen thousand dollar chunk or so, maybe more, right? Either way you look at it, you just take two thirds, make a chunk payment towards a mortgage, right? A bigger debt, or a or a big large credit card, or a, a, an auto loan, a personal loan, student loan, whatever, right? And typically. For this strategy, your cash flow is much higher, so it should take you about six months or less to zero out the line of credit to give you the ability to make the next chunk. So you could be looking at a potential, whatever 9,900 times three is, or 6,600 times three. That's 
you know, well over fifteen, eighteen thousand dollars going straight towards a principal that we have a debt on. Meanwhile, it only takes us like six months or less to zero out the line of credit itself because what are we doing? Dumping our entire income, taking out expenses, keeping the cash flow in, barely paying any interest on the line of credit side. Meanwhile, I'm saving thousands on the debt that I'm tackling, whichever one it may be. So, going back to the main question is we want to be able to impact our debts, take it head on. We want to be able to wipe out debts extremely fast so that we can get to the next level in life, focus on the things that matter more than the money, right? Rather than retracting, having doubt in a particular strategy for your personal finances. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Because this is dangerous to retract. Very dangerous. Goes back to my other point that I was making on this can lead you into what? Ignorance. We do not want to be ignorant. Okay? So retracting can lead us to ignorance and mess us up. Whereas impacting can lead us to freedom. See, it's a big mission of mine to impact households with their personal finances, help moms all across the United States and abroad to help them master the household, become great managers, great influencers, having great impact on the household, on the family, to achieve their personal finances, right? And by doing this will allow me to create a sustainable business, a debt-free business with debt-free clients, giving and receiving back and forth, right? So then I want to be able to go and approach churches and do conferences at their church with this strategy and go one by one with all the people that are in the ministry that show up one by one with a big board, you know, that I can just like kind of like take with me and kind of go down the, oh, hey, how much money you make? All right, how much debt you got? How much cash flow? Okay, cool. Let's see, do this, do this, do this, do this, do that. You'll be debt free in three years. Next, boom. How much money you make? Okay, cool. What's your expenses? Okay, cool. What's your cash flow? Cool. Debts? Okay, cool. You're going to go this, 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 this. Man, wait. Wait. Have patience. I promise you I'm going to get to that level. But first, I need to help one person at a time. One person a day. Every single day. Giving and receiving to people. Having people join in on this mission help this channel become sustainable so it can sustain itself so we can help more people make impact on their household so i hope you enjoyed this lesson real quick on how we calculate chunk payments and a little lesson that i like to throw in on impacting and retracting my name is denzel you have yourself a wonderful day i love you very much goodbye